What we think, what we think, what we think. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, ready? Six, seven, eight. Y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready, ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show. Hey, hey, hey. That's <laughs> what? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life, but we don't take life too seriously because life does not need to be that serious. You should enjoy your life, and life is a celebration. I hate this all the time. Um, <laughs> my name is Shereen, and we have Sonu, DJ Illis, my What's cousin. What's up, y'all? And we are today. Oyo. And we are today. Oyo, no more. We are today. We are today. We are the people. My name is Shereen, and we have my husband, Sonu, DJ Illis, here. What up, what up? And today we're going to talk about relationship issues. Cue the <laughs> intro. <laughs> talking about relationship stuff and our first episode was on our 10-year love story mm -hmm. and then last week we talked about non-traditional versus traditional families and kind of shared that whole thing yep. about us and yep. so today we're talking about relationship issues so if you are not in a relationship right now or <laughs> no you should watch you should watch this because we're gonna just keep it real because you will have issues in any relationship mm -hmm. Um, we had issues from the beginning of our relationship, right? Like, and I think that just happens. It's just natural, yeah. right? We're two You're, different people. Yeah. Right? It's like, gonna happen. It's right, gonna like, clash. Exactly. Like, when we talked about in our last episode, our families, our upbringing was very different. So, there were a so, lot of, yeah. a lot of changes <laughs> and a lot of differences. And like, you don't, you just don't always understand each other. Right. Communication issues and... I think, adjusting, a lot of adjusting. Yeah, adjusting to each other. So I had always been in a relationship, so I was like a uh, expert girlfriend. <laughs> expert girlfriend. And <laughs> so anyway, had not been in like a bunch of relationships. Yeah, it was like short term relationships. Right. Yeah. So like learning how to be in a relationship, and then I also had needed to learn how to be in a relationship with you. Yeah, for sure. Right, and like what you respecting yeah. your boundaries and what you wanted out of a relationship. The main issue and the main um, relationship issue we had was a pretty big one and I was pretty open about it and I continue to be pretty open about it but this is kind of like my platform that I think we're gonna like really share because I think the biggest thing about this is understanding that you can get past it. For sure. And we had a pretty big thing happen before we got married. And for me specifically, it was, and both of us, it was mm -hmm. like, okay, let's get to, get through this, let's, right? Like yeah. there's no other What's option, next? right? Like, let's, let's. not like we felt like we were stuck, but it was just like, we were already ready to be committed yeah. to be together. I think from the moment we got together, we both knew we were going to be together forever. Mm -hmm. Or was that just me? No. no. <laughs> You thought that too? Yeah, for sure. Right. So anyways, so backing up, we did long distance for yeah. like two and a half years. I came back home and then we had been together for maybe like four-ish, five-ish years. And then we started talking about marriage. Like that's like a natural thing, right? Yeah. And like, you know how brown people do? They start planning their weddings before you get officially engaged. So we started doing that. Like yeah. we were like planning our wedding. Um, we went to New Orleans, uh, went out there. Checked out the venue. Yeah, and checked out the venue and did all that. Area. Uh, you know, there were there were things that came up that I noticed before our like big moment, um, and we would address them and we would have conversations. But then you know, we would move on. Mm -hmm. And then there were probably things that I now recognize were red flags that I didn't bring up. Yeah. But basically what happened is there was a situation where I found out that Sanu's family was not aware of us planning a wedding. Mm -hmm. And my parents had brought up the fact that like maybe we need to meet with his parents to kind of talk about things. And I was like, oh, it's no big deal. Sanu's doing that, right? Yeah. And the thing was, is Sanu was going through something and he wasn't sharing it with his family. He wasn't sharing it with my family and he wasn't sharing it with me. So yeah. do you kind of want to talk about that? Yeah, so I was in, in a very dark place, I was in straight up like depression mode. Mm -hmm. And when you're in that mode, it's kind of like you tend to want to hide everything, yeah. any, any negative, any any like bad uh, uh, things that's happening mm -hmm. to you or around. And uh, when you're in that mode, 
uh, when you're in that in that in that place, um, you don't want to say anything negative. You don't want to say anything um, bad. Um, so that kind of kept me from like not, you know, saying anything. Um, but deep down, I was like, oh man, like I'm, what I'm doing, it's you know, this is wrong. But at the same time, it's not telling me to say it. Right. You know, it's weird. We, that's, when you're in that place, it, it's it's tough. It's hard. And um, and I think yeah. And then obviously it, it uh, boiled up. Mm -hmm. To the point where I had to, I'm like, yo, this is either, it's either this or, you know, that's it. I need mm -hmm. to go out and say it, so. Yeah, so, and yeah. so basically, like, nobody was really aware that he was yeah. going through this. And because he was depressed, um, we knew he wasn't ready to right. get married, right? <clears throat> like, there was just, that had to be the priority. For sure. And so we decided to postpone our wedding and, like, focus on Sanu getting better. And I was very open because all of my family was aware of us having a wedding date planned and we had family that had already booked tickets. And so I sent out the email being very open and yeah. you know, people had kind of discouraged me to do that. And it's, I know it's because they wanted to protect us and they didn't want anyone to kind of think badly or, you know, it's just like when you put an idea in someone's head, then they can start thinking up of things, yeah. right? And, but what was so important to me is because the reason why Sanu wasn't telling me was because he was scared. And so how was, how was I going to prove that like, it's important for us to communicate. It's important for us to be open if I wasn't going to be open. And mm -hmm. so I thought that would be very hypocritical of me to be like, Hey, we're just postponing our wedding and not being open about it. Yeah. And so I was open and I, I told everyone like, I hope that you understand and I and they did. They and everyone understand. Yeah. supported us and everyone was like yeah you have to wait like you know and I hope they appreciated the right choice, yeah. yeah I hope they appreciated that we were we were honest because you know that's just how I am and like that's the reason why I do this right. show okay. like I, I understand like it, it just doesn't make sense yeah to just to be doing this you got to practice what you preach for right sure. and so basically what that looked like for us is like a lot of fear mm -hmm. a lot of like you know, I, I, I knew that I wanted to forgive him because, you know, there was a lot of like lying. There was a lot of like sneaking around, like, you know, not being honest. And yeah. that's hard to forgive. And even though you could say you want to forgive someone, it's one thing to say it. Right. Sure. And so we went through a lot of things like rebuilding trust. Yeah. And yeah. but for us, what was so important is that he got better and that we were a solid partnership. Yeah got stronger yeah you know? we got so much stronger through this experience yeah and I, I know a lot of people you know go through that they just just come out and say it I think talking to somebody talking to uh, someone you love yeah uh, it's, it's it's gonna it's gonna be better it, yeah. it gets better and and uh, the relationship gets better and stronger and I definitely recommend everyone that's going through it to do that right i mean the source of his depression was he was doing something that he wasn't yeah. passionate about yeah i was doing well half and half I yeah was doing, you know something i love but something i didn't really like and uh i was in the middle yeah of like ah, what do i do what do i do yeah you know? and that's why i literally celebrate that day that he came clean and i call it Sunday, day and i know it's cheesy and i know it's just like i have to make a day for everything <laughs> But it's just so important for me to like remember and recognize like the strength that Sanu had to come clean and, and it changed everything. And it, it changed, changed our, our lives. lifestyle. It changed um, yeah. how, I, how I was thinking. It changed like it changed me. Yeah, for sure. It like, changed me and our families. Right? Yeah, like, even my brother. Like you know, like changed a lot of um, people and right. affected it and uh, in a positive way. So yeah, and if, if you enjoy his music. You know, like that may not have been possible right. if we didn't go through all of this, right? For sure. Because that was the moment where we were like, all right, if I was like, I forgive you and like, we're going to get through this, but you have to put in all your energy into mm. this. Like you have to prove everyone wrong and right. everyone that you can be an artist For because sure. like, that's not some shit you moved to America <laughs> to be right. Like, no. you know, that's something very like, non-traditional. Yeah. And so we had to put in a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, that's literally what I told my parents. I was like, I said, let me show you that I, I can do this. Yeah. You know, I can make a living out of it. And I'll prove to you guys, you know, like music. The, I know, I know the category is music his a career, but I, I know people that have done this. I know I have mentors and, mm -hmm. I'll, and I'll prove to you guys. And yeah. I'll show you. And he did. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it was a, it was a journey. I don't want to say it was easy. No, no. It was, it was definitely challenging. Um, 
and you know we continue to like you know kind of manage those different things that, yeah. that that still comes up even though it's five years ago it still is like a part of our journey that we're still working towards and you know there's other you know major issues i think a lot of ma people's major issues are communication i think people can read your mind like nobody can read mm -hmm. your mind you know sanu had how many years before me and it was me and sanu right, right, right. so your story didn't include me always and yeah. so it's like learning how to communicate learning how to include that person in your life mm -hmm. i think another major issue is money for sure right like and my biggest piece of advice to you is just be freaking honest <laughs> just be honest about everything yeah just over communicate overly be honest <laughs> like sure. honestly because i just think when you start hiding things when you start sneaking around that's when like you just start you're gonna hurt someone. Yeah. And you hurt not, yourself. Yeah. And, and your body, your your mind, everything just, uh, I don't know, you just feel, it's a different feeling. Like yeah. You, you don't want to, and I, I never want to be in that position again. So it's like, yeah, just just be open. Just be yeah. open and trust me, you will feel better. For you and want to like, ah, oh, no, 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 but right. just, just do it. Just do it. I'm telling you, yeah. it's going to make you feel better. And it's supposed to be, if you're telling a person that they love you, like, come on now. Like, mm -hmm. they, you know, they're going to understand. It's going to take them a while. But they're gonna understand and they're gonna support you. Yeah. You know, and you want that. You want that positivity. Yeah. And honestly, like I had people ask me, like, are you sure you want this for the rest of your life? Like, yeah. are you sure you want to be with someone that like could lie to you for multiple years or, or has depression? Like that could be a very challenging thing. And I'm like, yo, I was gonna marry this guy. Like, mm. isn't it for sickness and in health? Right. 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 Like, so. Also, you know, I think people need to think about the commitment of marriage mm -hmm. right like we had a bomb ass wedding but what's more important that you need to focus on is your marriage right. because that's what's forever the wedding is like a week mm -hmm. <laughs> like and, yeah. and then it's done like you have to maintain that marriage you have to maintain that partnership that living needs, together that right? needs that's to be another, solid yeah, living together is, is another big big thing that you got to kind of work, work yeah through. because i had lived away i've lived yeah, out yeah. by myself like so i knew i never lived outside of right, the house exactly. so that's a huge adjustment and you can't just assume like it's just gonna it's happen. just gonna happen everything's gonna be, be all smooth, smooth. Yeah, no not no that's not how life works <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the biggest thing is like communication yeah you gotta be open you gotta like just be on the same page yeah you know just be on the same page um and work things out together yeah you know, yeah, there's maybe there's some stuff so you can do it on your own, but most of the times, you know, if you if you can do it together, I think that it'll be I think that's the best way that I've been through. Also don't let anyone or anything come in between or before that person. Right. That that person has to be like, you know, you have to take care of yourself first. For sure. And then after that, that that's your partner. And if you cannot think that way, if you, it makes you uncomfortable and it's challenging to think like yo i can't put my partner before my parents or my mm -hmm. siblings like i don't know i personally think that's something you have to think about because you know that's like the rest of your life your parents aren't going to be here forever and, and mm -hmm. i mean your partner may not also but like the plan is till one of you passes away mm -hmm. <laughs> and so i just think like you really need to focus on what really matters to you in a relationship and just be honest yeah we're thinking about doing a q a yeah, yeah. So um, maybe post on Instagram and ask y'all if you got any questions. Um, I definitely am thinking about finally fil filming my video about why I retired as a wedding planner. That's cool. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For sharing our content. Thanks, guys. Um, appreciate thank it. you for supporting us. We love you. Goodbye.